Hi team, welcome to this week's adult senior black belt track uh, workout. So today we're going to be looking at our new self-defense technique, which is atomic disarm, automatic disarm. I'll say automatic all the time, but automatic disarm, the gun, gun defense. We'll be doing our double blade self-defense, where we do that from last week. We are also going to be looking at some the enemy of our cause. We're wrapping up tornado and twin tornado for those who are working on those. All right, team, let's go ahead and get started. So remember today, make sure you're in your full uniform. Part of our martial arts experience is making sure we have appropriate mindset for it. Everyone, attention. Spread your feet like this, cover. Team, bring your feet together. And curse it out. Relax, man. Hand right behind your back. And team, repeat after me. To build. True confidence. I must have. Knowledge in mind. Honesty in the heart. And strength in the body. Winners never quit. Quitters never win. I choose to be a black belt. All right, team. Let's go ahead and get started today. So we're going to start warming up a little bit. We're going to do some jabs. So everyone just keep your hands up in a guard. Do a little bit of box to shovel here. We're moving around. All right, team. When I say go, just take your front hand and jab. Team. Ready? And go. Jab. And go. Jab. Ready? And go. Jab. Go. Jab. Jab cross. Really keep working, keep those hands underneath your cheek. Let's keep our hand feet moving the entire time. Team, when I say go, it's going to be jab cross, and we're going to reset. Ready, team? And go! Jab cross! Ready, and go! Shoot awesome! Ready, and go! Shoot awesome! Ready, and go! Shoot awesome! And go! Shoot awesome! Ready, and go! Shoot awesome! Ready, and go! Shoot awesome! Go! Shoot awesome! Ready, go! Shoot awesome! And go, Shupasa. Switch, other side. Don't move our feet. Keeping the hands up, team, ready? And go, Shupasa. Ready, and go, Shupasa. Ready, and go, Shupasa. Ready, and go, Shupasa. And go, Shupasa. Ready, go, Shupasa. Go, Shupasa. Go, Shupasa. Ready, and go, Shupasa. All right, team, and switch. It's time we're going to do an elbow strike. Don't move our feet. Team, we're gonna do an upward elbow strike. We're gonna take our front hand. We're gonna bring it up to the air and come back. Ready? So, guards up in the guard. Thumbs up to their shoulder. Ready? And go. Go. Boom. And back. Ready? Team, and go. Ready? And go. Ready? Team, and go. And go. And go. And switch back to the other side. Still moving our feet. Keeping those hands up. Bring the front elbow. So I'm gonna lunge in a little bit. Bring my elbow underneath their chin. Rocking their head back. Ready? And go. Ready? And go. And go. And go. 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 Ready? And go. And switch back to the other side. Team, this time we're going to do a rear elbow strike. So, the same thing, we're still doing upward, but it's going to come up. We're still rotating our, rotating our body. So, think of the front arm, I'm working the jab, the back arm, it's more like the cross, we're going to rotate our body in. Bring the elbow up. So imagine you're combing your hair as your hand comes up. Get the hand down. Ready, team? And go. Ready, and go. Ready, go. Ready, and go. And go. Ready, and go. Ready, and go. Ready, and go. And go. Our team and switch back to the other side. Still moving those feet, keeping the hands up. Ready, so we're taking our back arm, we're doing our upper elbow strike, ready? And go! Ready, and go! Rotate their body into, drive in, just move it across. Ready, and go! Make sure that the hand stays up, don't drop it. Ready, and go! Don't move in, and go! Ready, and go! Go! go. Alright, and go! Alright, switch back to their side, team. This time we're going to do two elbow strikes. Front and back, two elbows coming in, right? So it's going to be really close to it. Into the chin, into the chin, and get right back to my guard. Ready? And go. Shupasa. Ready? And go. Shupasa. Ready? And go. Shupasa. 
Try the other leg. Ready? Set. And go. And remember, chamber, kick, re-chamber, and put it back down. Ready? And go. Natural stance, tension. All right, again, fix your uniform. Just gonna adjust my glasses a little bit. All right, team. Actually, I'm gonna take them off. Hold on one second. Take your seat. All right, team, we're gonna do next. We're gonna do squat front kick. We'll be alternating your legs. So, team, hands are gonna be up next to our cheek. We're gonna squat down. You're gonna come up, front kick. Plant your foot back down. Squat down, come up. Front kick the other leg, play, and come down. Ready, team? With me, and go. Soup, 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 go. Go, soup, 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 and relax team. Awesome. Hope everyone's warmed up a little bit. So what we're gonna look at next is our round house. We're gonna break it down a little bit. So everyone has a chance to really get the technique down really well. So team. First thing we're gonna do is go back to our natural stance. Snap to attention. Tap on your right leg, step back to your guard stance, hands come up. Everybody say, Iron! Team, when we're doing a roundhouse kick, the idea behind the roundhouse kick is we're taking our back leg and we're kicking sideways. So with the top of our foot. So, real quick, what I'll do is I'll pivot, chamber kick, and I'll come right back to where I started from. Alright, team, so let's just break that kick down a little bit. So remember, we're kicking with the top of our foot, the laces of our foot. So team, everyone take your back leg and just extend your toes out. Point your toes out as far as you can. That's how we want to strike. We're striking with the top of the foot. If you have your action cry mask socks on, you probably have to where the shark is. If you're wearing tennis shoes or match shoes, it's where the laces are. If you uh, think about where your shin is, top of your foot. Closer to your shin, farther from your toes. Right? So we want to hit with the toes. We want to do it with the top of our foot, so the instep area, right in through here. 
All right, everyone with me? Hands up. So actually, the first thing we want to do is we want to play with our front leg. So if I try and, my front foot is kind of pointing to the front right now. And if I try and throw my kick from here, and I don't move my leg, it puts a lot of pressure on my knee. Not an ideal situation. So I want to be able to pivot a little bit. So a couple different ways you can do that. Some people will kick and pivot at the same time. Some people pivot and kick first. It's much easier to learn the drill if you pivot first before you can set yourself up. So that's how we're going to do it. So we start out with a hand in the guard, we're taking our front foot, we're going to pivot to the outside. All right, let's go back. So from right here, we're just, our foot's right to the front, we're going to push it out to the left. Ready? And go, pivot! Awesome team, take your back leg, bring it up in the chamber, and put it back down. So that's the same chamber we use for our wheel kick. So it's that table chamber, I, it's a table because I can shoot off my plate of cookies on it. Ready team, hands up, and take your front leg and pivot. Take your back leg up and chamber, kick out! Put it right back where you got it from. And then you notice your foot will shift back to the front. Ready, team? And everyone. Pivot. And kick. And come back. Ready, team? And pivot. Back leg kick. And sit down. Ready, team? Again, everyone, pivot. Chamber on the back leg. Extend it all the way. Bring it right back to your starting point. Ready? And go. And step back. All right, let's make sure we keep our hands up. It's really common to see people. When they're doing this kick, to swing your arm, trying to get some momentum for it. We want to make sure we have that upper body control separate from our lower body control. So I think if I'm, I'm guarding myself, or maybe I grab hold of somebody, I've got hold of their arms because they just feel hunting. Whatever it is, my hands have to be occupied doing something else while I'm kicking. So hands up. Right, team. And pivot. Back leg kick. Awesome. Reset. Right, team again. Everyone pivot. You take your back leg and kick. Awesome. And reset. And team. If you can pivot on the ball of your foot, again, that helps with the knee action a little bit, so you can pivot down the heel of your foot, tend to put a little more pressure on your knee. If you can pivot on the ball of your foot when you turn, it makes it a little easier, right? So pivot out, and we come back this time, pivot on the ball of your foot as opposed to the heel of the foot. Right team, right? Back to our guard. And pivot. Back leg kick. Awesome. And reset. All right, and again, pivot. Back leg kick. Awesome. And reset. Our team again, pivot, back leg kick, awesome. All right, and switch, other side. All right, team, let's break it down again. So remember, we're just doing the roundhouse kick. The front leg pivots, and when we pivot with our front leg, it goes out to the right. And our back leg comes up in our chamber, just like a rope wheel kick, kicks out, and then resets back to where we started playing. Great team, let's do that together. Ready? And front leg pivot, back leg chamber, kick, reset back to our starting point. Right team again, we're gonna pivot. Back leg, up, kick, and back. All right team, ready? Again, we're gonna pivot. Back leg, kick, and back. Again, pivot, kick, awesome, and back. Right team again, pivot, awesome, and back. Ready, and go, pivot, awesome, and back. Ready, right, and go, pivot, awesome, and back. And switch the item. All right, team, we're just gonna do a few more kicks, full speed this time, sir. When I say go, you're gonna just pivot, kick, and reset all on your own. Ready, set, and go. Awesome. Go. Awesome. Go. Awesome. Go. Awesome. Go. Awesome. Go. Awesome. And switch. All right. All right, team, trap on that back leg. That's one we're kicking with now. Front leg pivot, back leg kick. Ready? And go. Awesome. Go. Awesome. Go. Awesome. Go. Awesome. Go. Awesome. Go. Awesome. And see, it's not your attention. And relax. Take a deep breath. Into your nose. Hold it. Exhale. All right, team. If you know, hold it and exhale. Awesome, team. So, team, we're gonna do next. We're gonna move on to our self defense technique. I'm gonna have Miss Danielle come up here. She's gonna work out with us on reviewing double legs. We'll spend a few minutes on double legs, which is our previous self defense, and then we'll go into automatic disarm, which is our gun defense. Miss Danielle, you ready to come out? So we're going to work on double blade targeting, which is our first one with a karate grip. So in a little bit of a 
we're just going to come out here with a flip so you can attack me with this. So it's going to be very similar to double blitz part A that we did last cycle for our hook part. We're going to step in, we're going to do our two chops, we're going to grab, the rest are going to be a chop. That was for um, part A, we're going to do the same exact thing in part B, we're going to add a few extra steps because of the club strike. So just going to swing towards my hat. I'm coming in. So I'm going to step forward, going for the most important step. I have one hand leg around where his wrist is, one hand above where the elbow to lock out the arm. Taking my jab hand, which is my left hand, I'm going to grab hold of his wrist for that control. My front hand, my right hand is going to do the chop to the neck. And that's where double blade part A ended in the two steps of that. From here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my right leg from close to where he is. I'm going to cross in front of my left leg and step away from him. At the same time, my hand that just did the chop, I'm going to grab hold of whatever he's attacking me with. My back leg is going to come out. So I'm in the office of there. Now he's going to kind of get my feet spread apart. The club's in my right hand. I'm going to swing back towards his head to attack him with it. And if I push him, stop, stay back. Okay. And that's the end of all the things that are working for me. Let's try that again, man. Right. Coming in. So I'm going to step in, do my double blades, grab, chop. Right leg steps in front of my left, right hand grabs. Left leg steps out as I hit back with the club. And then from there, stop, stay back. Cool. So Daniel, do I take him through that maybe two or three times just in the air and then we'll go to the weapon? Next weapon. Alright, so we surrender right here in our nasty stance. We're gonna say double blade part B. Hook punch with a club. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our right leg right here. We're gonna step in towards where the bat is coming. We're gonna do our two chops right here. One above the uh, elbow, one below the elbow. So we're gonna take our back hand right here. We're gonna grab hold of our wrist. Front hand will close to where they are. They're gonna do the chop to the neck. From here, my front leg is going to step crossing over in front. Make sure it's not behind in front. We're going to take this hand right here and grab hold of whatever they're trying to attack me with. My back leg is going to step out, so it's kind of unwinding a little bit. Front hand's going to do um, hitting them back with whatever weapon they have, and from there, push them, stop, stay back. So we out again. So we're going to say double blade part B, hook punch with a club. So we're going to step forward with our right leg right here. We're going to come forward, do a double blade, grab, chop. Front leg steps across as we grab the whole weapon, step out and strike, and then stop, stay back. So do it one more time together. So we're gonna say double blades part B, hook punch with a club. So we're gonna step forward, two chops, grab, chop, step as you grab the weapon, step out and strike, and stop, stay back. And that is it for last week's technique for double blades part B. Awesome job, Ms. Daniel. Fair high five. Thank you. Can you grab the uh, side arm now? Team, what we're going to do next is we're going to do atomic disarm. Atomic disarm is a gun defense, so someone's putting a gun in my face, and I feel like I have no choice but to defend myself, right? Because my primary goal when it comes to self-defense is always to make sure I get home as safely as possible. Guys, self-defense does not mean I care if my wallet gets home safely. It doesn't mean if I care if my car gets home safely. Right? Or my car keys, right? It means I'm concerned about myself getting home safely. So if someone comes up there and puts a gun in my face and gives me my wallet, and I'm pretty sure that if I give them my wallet, they're going to leave me alone, they get my wallet. If they want my car, they're going to leave me alone, they get my car. Right? All right. Now, if they tell me to put a gun in my face and say, get in the car, I'm going to take you somewhere else, that worries me, right? That's a different, that's a different scale. Um, depending on what statistics you look at, relocation, relocation makes your chance of escape be between 50 and 90% worse. 50% and 90% worse. Like the best estimate is it 50% worse every time you get relocated. The worst estimate is 90%. It's got to be somewhere in the middle, but it's not good. So no one ever wants to take you someplace else to do something nicer to you, right? So if you're in a situation where they feel like you're going to be relocated or they might hurt you right then and there, that is your time to try and do your self-defense. It might be your only chance to do your self-defense. Team, and this is primarily for our younger students. So if you if you are one of our students, a school-age student, and you have, you're at a friend's house or you're somewhere, and someone pulls up, oh, look, my dad has a really cool gun. He wants to show it to you. Team, there's never a point where you should be somewhere where someone is pull, showing you a gun or playing with a gun without your parents being there and being part of that process, right? Because I know that the different families have different guidelines for what they do with firearm safety, and some are very diligent about making sure they teach it in the house, and some are not. But team, there's never a situation. I've never met anyone who said, oh, yeah, it's okay for little Johnny to go out there and hang out with his friends and play with a gun. That's never the case, right? So if you're ever somewhere and someone brings out a firearm, you need to immediately be there. You need to immediately, and guys, this is super important, immediately let someone else know, right? Let mom or dad know or let their parents know, 
key to this is not talent, this is not getting trying to get somebody else in trouble. In fact, you may be saving somebody's life by letting them know that they lost that kind of job. So, most, so many injuries occur each year from accidental firearm discharge. So we want to make sure we're doing the best we can to stay safe all the time. So self-defense isn't just when the bad guy gets in front of us, it's things we do every day to make sure we can protect ourselves. Okay, so Miss Danielle's gonna come out here. She's gonna pretend she is the bad guy. This is a very stretch, hard stretch for Miss Danielle. She's never a bad guy, she's awesome. So she's gonna take the gun, she's gonna put it in my face. So this is really, by the way, no matter how prepared you are uh, for self-defense situations, if this is uh, a moment when you, uh, everyone wants to panic at first, right? Everyone wants to panic. All right, when we get a little nervous, we shake, we put our hands up. Hey guys, perfectly okay to put your hands up, right? That's kind of expected behavior. Put your hands up. I don't want to be shot. I'm going to make sure I'm safe, right? So uh, you might talk a little bit. You might hyperbalance. Guys, just be aware. It's just like karate class. When we're sweating really hard, we do a really strong workout, your heart's racing, your knees are weak, you can't catch your breath. That might be what, the, what you're feeling right now with that gun in your face. Right? So, team, what do you want? What do you want, man? What do you want? I'm like, I just want to be man. All right. I'll, I'll try and engage them somehow I can. What do we want? What do we want? And it's okay if I repeat the same phrase because I'm panicking. They understand that's kind of the response they're going to get. Um, if she, I know if she says what's my money, it's okay. Hold on, I have my money right in my back pocket. Can I get it for you? Awesome. I, my door is over here, right? This is where my door is. That's my escape route. I'm going to get my wallet out there right here. I'm going to throw my wallet over here, away from the door, so that when it's time, when she goes for a wallet, I can go over this way and run. Because even remember, my goal is to escape. If she really wants the money, she's going after the wallet. That's her, that's what she's going to go after, right? So when she goes for the wallet, I have a chance to go. From, I have a chance to get out of there. I feel the way from my escape route. But assuming that I do this and I go ahead, here's my money, I throw it out there, and she's still staring me down, all right? All right. Or I, at this point, I realize, oh, I'm, I'm really in bad shape. This is I'm not going to talk my way out of this. I'm not going to be able to pay my way out of this. This is somebody who needs to do me serious harm. That's my moment to, to make my decision. If I can engage them somehow to get their mind thinking about something else, that works really well. So I can talk to them because thinking like, oh, come on, let me go, let me go. Can we please let me go? What do you want to do with me? Can I give you my money? Do you need anything else? What else do you want? Tell me what you want. Come on, tell me, tell me, tell me. Stop. Boom. So guys, what I do is I try and get her, and she wasn't responding, but I look for the eye movement, I look for the twitch, whatever it's going to be, to let me know it's my moment to attack. What I did is I drop my weight down, I push the gun up. Try and get, so heads go, guns in my face right here. So the guns in my face. Right. So from here, I'm dropping my head down at the same time as I'm pushing the gun up, trying to get that maximum speed in there as possible. Team, if that gun is right here, I would not do this self defense technique. Right. I would not try and push it up into my face. Other self defense techniques that approach. This is someone who's got that gun, it's right in your face. So that distance is the shortest one. Top of my head is probably the shortest distance for us. Right. So I'm going to go boom, right up here. From here, I'm going to take my right leg and stepping forward, grabbing the gun. I'm twisting it back, making a circle toward her. From here, I'm going to step back. And by the way, when you're doing this, it can be really, uh, you're going to pop it right out of their fingers. When we're practicing with our partners, it's really important that we practice trigger control. Finger is not inside because we don't want our finger getting caught here when we do this. We want to make sure our finger is on the outside, okay. or even just holding the handle of it, so that we have our, our, so we're okay with it. We don't want to be actually holding the trigger when we're doing this because our finger will get caught in first. So again, Miss Danielle's going to put it in my in my face. I talk to her, trying to get her distracted, I didn't get her respond or make some eye movement or whatever it's going to be. So I know she's on her. I've got some some thought process going over here. I push up as I do. I grab. I push up with the bottom of my hand. Thumbs together, fingers and hands together, kind of make it beat. Wrap my top of my hand around the top of the gun. Step in, circling around toward her. Okay. Right. And then from here, this is why we make sure her finger is out because at this point, I'm stepping back. And I step and then when I step back really strong here, boom. If her finger's still in there, it's it's gonna be bad. We're very weird direction at this point. Okay. From here, team, I need to start getting some distance between myself and her. She might come for the gun. I'm gonna step back. I am gonna tap the magazine, make sure sure I'm gonna rack it back up. I'm going to point the pistol right at her and tell her, stop! Down on the ground! Down on the ground! All the way down! All the way down! On your stomach! On your stomach! Arms on this side! Arms on this side! Turn your head to this side! Cross your legs! You! You over there in the blue shirt! Call 911! Call 911 now! Alright, you notice what I did here. I got them in a prone position. I made sure I was safe. I kept my distance away from them. I didn't want to be right next to them. I grabbed the gun again. 
I specifically pointed out an individual. I didn't say call 911. I said, or I didn't say call the police. I looked at, oh, you in the blue shirt. Call 911. They're not trained for this. No one's trained for this team. So you want to be as explicit as possible to give your instructions. To, because you say call the police, someone's going to forget how to call 911. So you say call 911, you have a much better chance of remembering what they need to do. Team, I'm going to wait here. When the police show up, they don't know good guys from bad guys. They're there. Their, their job is to try and get the home safely and make sure everyone in the scene is safe as well. So they're going to see somebody with a gun. So when the police show up, I need to get down on the ground, my pants come up. From here, I'm going to take the gun, put it on the ground, and I'm going to slide it off to the side. And team, I didn't slide it to Miss Danielle. I slid it away from Miss Danielle, right? So don't slide it to the bad guy. Hands are going to be up here. All right? And I might get down on the ground as well and make sure I'm not All right, Miss Danielle, come back up. So let's do that again, team, with Miss Danielle. So from here, she's going to be up on, she's going to be pointing the gun in my face. I, I, I try and do everything I can to de-escalate the situation, to talk to her, give her my money, whatever it's going to be. I realize that's not going to work. At that point, I need to react. Fingers come together. I make that D, push the gun up, and I bend the knees, dropping down on both blocks. From here, push the gun back to her as I step in. That helps get that momentum against the wrist, against the bigger you are. Pull back, get the gun on your hand. Tap it, rack it, point the gun at him, tell me get down on the ground. And again, you might have to be very explicit on this. On your knees, on your stomach, hands on your side. Turn your head, don't look at me, don't look at me. Crush your legs, crush your legs. If you're going to crush your legs, team, it's a lot easier for them, uh, harder for them to get if they start chasing after you. Right. And team, they may not follow all your instructions, all right? But if they're down in the prone position and they're kind of complying with it, we'll go with what you get. Right. So I'm backing away from her. Back and away, call 911, you in blue shirt, call 911. Awesome. When I have them call 911, please tell them that the person in the blue karate uniform is holding the gun. He's the one who's being attacked. I'll put the gun down as soon as they get here. So but I just want them to hold it here until they're safe, all right? Nothing wrong with getting additional information like that. Team, once the, once the police officer gets there, hands go up, on your knees, take the gun, put it down off to the side, put it down off to the side. So it's not next to you, not next to the bad person again, so off to the side. All right, and then we spread it out. All right, Ms. Danielle, come on back. Again. Team, if you are in a situation like that, do not be alarmed if the police take you into custody for that. Again, when it comes to self-defense situations, the police officers are not judge and jury. They're not going to try and make, they're not going to try and make a decision there. If there's any concern at all about what's going on, they're going to take everyone down to the police station. They'll figure it out there. So that's not unusual with a situation like that. So don't be alarmed just because someone goes, oh, we're going to take you, gonna take you in. Doesn't necessarily mean they think you're, they are, are us that are reading your rights. They're not arresting you. They're just taking you to a different situation, different location, so everyone can be more secure. Team, so must take our gun. I'll put that off the side. We're going to do that a few times in the air. All right, team. Everyone start on their natural stance. Team, this is called automatic disarm. It is a gun defense. So if someone puts a gun in my hand, I'm going to pop my hands up to the side so they're about level with the gun from here. So, oh my gosh, don't shoot me, don't shoot me. All right. I don't, I'll don't. i give you whatever you want. Do my money? I got my wallet here. Right. Try and engage them in a conversation if you can. Okay. If, uh, if they want your money, they'll talk to you, right? If they're not, if they're not talking to you, that's a more serious situation for you. So team, from here, I realize I, I can't talk my way out of it. My hands come in and up, right? So my hands come in and up. Think, thumbs, roll a V. We're pushing up underneath the gun right here. At the same time, I'm gonna pop my head down, right? So I've got two, the gun right here. I wanna move it two, I wanna move my head out of the way two different ways. One, I'm ducking down. Two, I'm pushing the gun up. So boom, right up through here. Team, from here, take your right leg, step forward. Pull the gun forward. Point the barrel forward and bend the barrel back to the bad guy. From here, team. Step all the way back. As you do, you're pulling the gun free. Half the magazine in place. Rack, rack it and keep stepping back. So team, so often when I practice self defense technique with somebody, they stop right after they take on the gun. Ms. Danielle, are you ready again? So, so often I'll see students who practice this and they'll do the technique and the form looks really good. They pop up here, they step back, boom, and they go right here. All right, team. If you do that, you're in the exact same position the bad guy was in. So 
This is tempting. They just, you took the gun off them, they're going to try and get it back off you. This is a situation you don't want to be in. You need to make sure you're not within grappling range with them. So even an untrained person who feels threatened might try and grapple with you, especially if they're in a desperate situation, which I assume a criminal is. Right? So when I get that gun out of hand, I'm moving, I'm making distance between myself and the curve. I have to make sure there's enough difference there that I have time to respond if they decide to charge me, decide to reach for a secondary weapon. Those are all things I need to make sure I can do. If I just take that gun and I stand right here, I'm right back in her face, you know, um, that's not going to be good for me. She's got to be able uh, I put, I'm still at risk. I have the gun in my hand, but I'm still at risk. I'm, I'm not safe until I am far away from this person. Take your hand. All right, team, back to our natural stance. Let's do that again. Atomic disarm. So, team, hands come to where hands are up. Bring your hands together. Make that D. Push it up. At the same time, bend your knee. So, boom, drop your knees down. And, team, I, we say bend our knee, but really, let's just drop your weight. So, imagine you're just dropping down, boom, right here. So, if you're bending your knees is a little slower, but you can just drop so much faster than you get your head down. So, drop down. From here, right leg forward, boom. Take the gun out of their hand. Come back. Tap it, rack it, aim at them, I'm moving back. Guys, I stop moving back when I have no choice, right? So I'm moving back, I'm moving back. I'm keeping my distance between them as much as I can. So if there's a wall behind me, of course, I'll stop back. But if there's not, there's if there's not like a six-foot roll or a 10-foot roll. It's whatever I need to feel safe. And I want to make sure I'm as safe as possible in that situation. Because at that point, it was a life or death situation. Guys, back to our natural dance. Team, one more time. Atomic disarm. So, gun defense, gun pointing right at your nose. Key, pop there, bring your hands up, bring your great the knee, push the gun up, at the same time, drop down. From here, step forward, boom. Push the gun forward into a circle, point the barrel back to them. Step back, pull it free from their hand. Tap the magazine, wrap it around, and step back, making sure you're getting distance between yourself and them the entire time. All right, team. Uh, that's it for our self-defense techniques. Now we're going to go into our kata. So let's do that real quick. So we have universal one. Uh, we're going to do that a few times. Then we'll go to tornado and twin tornado. So, so team, everyone's going to do universal one with me. And we're going to start your natural dance. Team, chen chen. Everyone. Action kata. Universal one. Back. Back to your guarding stand. All right. So we step back on the right leg. Our left leg is forward. Starting out with our left hand, we're going to go up, in, out, punch, down, punch. From here, step in, hill hop, punch. Shift back into your guard, do your front kick. Roundhouse kick. So remember, we're going to pivot, chamber kick, and we're advancing in on this one. So we're in another side. This is where we left off last week. So what we're going to do now is we're going to add, some, we're going to add the second part of our kata, which is just like our beginning. So from here, our right hand is going to go up. In, out, punch, down, punch, step forward, heel pump, shift back to the front, punch. So that's what we're going to be doing up to the day. So we're adding all the hand technique back into it for the second side. All right, team, let's go back to the beginning. Everyone, ready? Tension. And universal one. Ready, got your guys there? Aye! Left hand first. Up, in, out, punch, down, punch. Step forward. Right hand heel palm, left hand punch. Back to your guard. Front kick. Roundhouse kick. Other side, our right leg is forward, so we're going to go up with the right hand. In, out, punch. Go back to our guard, or chamber. Team from here. Downward block, punch. Step all the way in. This time our left hand's coming into our heel palm. Shift around, right hand punch. So let's go back one more time, team. Trying on our natural stance. Tension. Everyone. Action time. Universal one. Back. Back to our guard stance. Iron. Up. In. Out. Punch. Down. Punch. Hit one. Punch. Front kick. Roundhouse kick. Up. In. Out. Punch, down, punch, heel ball, punch, and relax.
Alrighty, that's Universal One. So if you work here in Universal One, you're a green belt or lower. Please continue working on Universal One. Brown belt's in higher, grab your RD6. We're going to go through Tornado and we'll finish up today. All right, team. Tornado. Let's start out on our natural stance. Our knee sticks out in front of us. Snap to attention. Left foot comes in. Say tornado. Back out to your natural stance. Team, horse stand. From here, four count high. One, two, three, four. Four count low. One, two, three, four. Cobb, cobb. Head, head. Waist, waist. Knee, knee. From here, team, we're doing our double strike. Hands come all the way back to the right side. Strike to the center. All the way back to the left side. Strike to the center. Team, we're going to do our spin double strike. So we're going to come all the way back to our right side. We're going to strike, spin all the way around, strike again. Come back to our left side. Strike, spin all the way around, strike again. Back out to our natural stance. Attention, and back. So we're just adding in that spin at the inner end of it. So let's try that again, team. So back to our natural stance. Technique is kata is tornado. Ready? So attention. Tornado. Bow. Back out to your horse stance, your natural stance. Horse stance. Team. Ready? Four count high. One, two, three, four. Four count low. One, two, three, four. Top, top, head, head, waist, waist, knee, knee. Double strike. Ooh. Double strike. Ooh. Spinning double strike for a strike. Come all the way around and strike. Spinning double strike. Strike. Come all the way around and finish the strike. And then back to our natural stance. Back to our attention stance. And bow. All right, team, let's do that one more time. Tornado. To our natural stance. Team. Attention. Tornado. Natural stance. Team, four stance. Four count high. One, two, three, four. Four count low. One, two, three, four. Cobb, cobb. Head, head. Waist, waist. Knee, knee. Double strike. Ooh. Double strike. Ooh. Spinning double strike. Hit. Come around. Strike. Right? And slip. Come around. And strike. Back out to my natural stance. Snap to attention. And bow. All right, brown belts and red belts, please continue working on tornado. First degree black belts and higher, stay on the mat. We're going to do over a twin tornado. We're going to get to the end of twin tornado as well. We're going to add in what they call the long session. This is a series of double strike techniques. So let's go back to the beginning for twin tornado. So, team, twin tornado, tension, and bow. Arms come away, make a circle, step your feet out. Awesome, you got your girth then. I got Flowing sticks high, we're gonna go head, 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 head. Flowing sticks low. Knee, 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 knee. All right, team, now we're gonna do beat the drum. So beat the drum, it's gonna be head, waist, knee. Then we're gonna switch. Foot comes up, foot steps back, we switch. Head, waist, knee. All right, team, from here we're gonna go over, under, over. So again, foot comes up, step back, Strike low to the groin, shift into it, strike to the head. Step forward, step back, shift to the other side, go low, go high to the head. Team, from here, we're going to shift to the side again. We're going to do our double strike. So from here, we're going to double strike, come on back, and we're going to do one more strike, ladies and gentlemen, all the way around, spin, double strike, just like we did in tornado. Shift, strike, strike around, just like you get the end of tornado. Here, boom. All right, team, from here, what we're going to do is we're going to shift our feet. So, this other, every other place we step forward, this time we're going to step back. Our front foot comes back, our left leg steps forward as it does. We swing our knee sticks up, two strikes, striking the head, crossing our knee sticks in front of us. Left leg is forward, we just stay cross. Now we're going to do a low cross, back to the knee. Bring our knee sticks up, strike to the top of the head. Our team step all the way back, back to our attention stance, and bow. 
And that is the end of 2020 OT. Let's try that again all the way from the very beginning. Continue, ready? Catch and stand. 20 tornado. Stop. All right, team, ready? Circle around. Down. Got your guys there. All right. Ready? And blowing sticks high. One, two, three, four. Blowing sticks low. One, two, three, four. Feeding the drum. Head, waist, knee. Switch. Head, waist, knee. Un under, over. Switch. Under the groin, over the head. And switch. Under the groin, over the head. Long section team, this is all of our double strikes. So we're going to shift, come all the way back, double strike, spin, double strike, from here, double strike, spin, double strike. Your front foot comes back, your left leg steps out, strike to the head, crossing in front of you, from here, uncross, strike to the knee, you get another double strike, bring the arnie sticks up, right to the shoulder, double strike, our knees together. Back to our attention stance, and bow. Awesome. One more time, team. All right, everyone back out to our attention stance. Team, twin tornado. Bow. All the way up, down, back to our guarding stance, blowing sticks high, one, two, three, four, blowing sticks low, one, two, three, four, keep the drum, head, waist, knee, switch. Head, waist, knee. All right, under, over, switch. Low and high, and switch. Low and high. All right, team, long section. Switch, all the way up. Double strike, spin, double strike. Boom. Double strike, spin, double strike. Switch, front foot comes back, left foot comes forward, straight to the head, and right feet cross over, unwind, back to the knees, circle around, back to the shoulder. Three double strikes again. From here, step back into a tension stance and pop. Awesome team. Let's all put our knee sticks down and come on together close to the camera. All right, team, thank you very much for hanging out with us today. Uh, so, team, um, guys, I think of everyone who knows me, knows I love martial arts. I love being involved in the high school and doing things here with everybody else. And I gotta admit, when I first heard the news about more restrictions, I did not have the best Ash and Cry Black Belt attitude. In fact, I felt kind of bad, a little frustrated, and a little bit defeated because we've gone so far. And then I thought about some things that I like to do, like going out to dinner, hitting the bags of cry. I love going to cry school and doing stuff with other students. Going to the gym, I don't go to the gym a lot, but I do like to, I like the opportunity to do that. All of those things I'd be missing because of the, the stages we're in. Then I realized what a great opportunity this is. And team, this is not just any regular opportunity, but this is a once in a lifetime opportunity. This is like Paul McCartney in music or Tiger Woods in sport. Like, it's one of those events that just, you know, it happens once in your lifetime. You're probably not gonna see a lot of people who reach that level of excellence again. Okay. Team, everyone with me, say once in a lifetime. Team, last time this virus happened was 100 years ago. This is the type of virus happened 100 years ago, right? So it's not like this happens every week or every year. So 100 years ago since the last time. And team, I decided I would use this once a life opportunity to do my very best. And guess what? I know it's not going to be easy, but I know when it's over, I'm going to be super proud of myself. And, you know, I'll, I'll be able to brag a little bit to my friends because I, when everyone else was kind of quitting and going home, I was able to do my very best and get better and improve myself. Right? I, and by the way, we all have that friend who, throughout this entire situation this year, has found some way to either lose weight or get healthier or learn something new and they manage to improve their life. And we don't want that, oh my gosh, that's amazing. Team, this is an opportunity to be that person in someone else's life. Okay. Okay. Guys, trust me, right? I don't have to blind well for karate. I don't want to have to go outside to visit my family and friends. But it is what it is, right? And I know that when this is over, I'm going to be stronger. I'm going to be a better person for it. Okay. And team, if you're ready to tackle this challenge with me, I want you to say once in a lifetime. Everyone, say once in a lifetime. Now, close your eyes and make a commitment to yourself right now that when things get challenging, you're going to push through it. All right, team, we got a little bit more of our work to do today. We're going to make sure everyone crushes it. All right, friends, everyone shake it out. Eyes open. Back to our natural stance. All right, team, attention. Black stance, hands right behind your back. Team, what we're going to do next is we're going to do a little bit of workout here in the class. We're going to be working on some kicking techniques, some punching techniques, and a series of lunges. So, 
I'm gonna have Miss Danielle come up here, and she's gonna take us through some roundhouse kicks. So, ma'am, are you ready to go? All right. So, Miss Danielle is gonna take us through the roundhouse kicks. And I'm gonna step off to the side. All right. Is it okay if I keep track of the time? Great. All right, ma'am. Ready? We're going to go back in our grace dance. We're going to do roundhouse kicks for about a minute on this leg. We'll switch those feet after a minute over. Or that's one of both legs. Right now, we're going to switch. And I'll tell you what to switch, man. Alrighty, and let's go. So we're going to do a quick asa and step up. So we're going to pivot off the front leg, kick off the back one, and reset. Asa. 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 Let's kick, man. Let's kick. Asa. Asa. And switch, ma'am. I am. The same thing, pivot off of this front foot this time. Move back, we're going to come up, asa, and then we're going to reset. So a minute, main foot comes in front, we're going to pivot and kick, and reset. Right again. Asa. 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 And time, ma'am. Awesome. Thank you very much. Our, team, our next round is going to be lunges. So we're going to do uh, quarter lunges. So what that means is we're going to be starting out on our natural dance. We're going to keep on where our legs. It doesn't matter which leg you step forward with. You're going to step forward. The leg that's in the back is just going to drop down. Try not to get your knee against the ground as you're doing this. Try and get it close to the ground, but try and not get the ground with it. Okay? Especially if you're trying to get home like on a hard the floor, it's not comfortable to get the ground with it. If you're on a mat, you kind of get a little wheelie way for it, but if you're at home, please make sure you do the best you can to stay safe. All right, team, ready? So we're going to do 10 lunges on each side with our hands up. I'll put my hands up next to my cheek. We're in a natural stance. All right, team. I'm going to step forward with my right leg first. All right, team. And one. And two. And three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Nine, ten. All right, ten more. Ready? And one, two. Keep those hands up. Three. Keep your eyes focused to the front. Four. Back straight. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. All right, team, and relax. Shake it a little bit. Miss Danielle, can you do that cross with me now? Thank you, ma'am. And you're going to go back to our guiding hands. So again, we're going to do like about another minute. We're going to do jab cross. Our front hand's going to go to jab, back hand cross. We're saying back to the guiding hands, kind of right cheeks after you each one. Ready? And go. Here we go. Jab cross. 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 Jab cross, 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 jab cross. And switch. Hi. Same thing. Jab with the front hand, cross the back hand, and reset the knee. And go. Jab cross, jab cross. Jab cross, 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 jab cross. 
Jump cross. Jump cross. Jump cross. Jump cross. And time, ma'am. Awesome. Awesome, team. So, team, as we're doing these drills, what I want you to make sure you're focusing on is keeping your hands up, keeping your eyes focused to the front. Try not to look to the side. Keep your eyes focused. To see the target you're hitting, whether you're kicking or you're doing lunges. Imagine you're moving towards some target that your eyes are focused on the entire time. Team, we're going to do next, we're going to do side lunges. So, we're going to start again, start out on half and half. Keep our hands up on our guards. We're rolling on the floor from the guard. Keep your elbows in too. Try not to let your elbows come out here. Don't keep your elbows in so you have to protect your body. Eyes focused to the front team. So what we're going to do is from our side lunge, we're just going to take, I'll start with my right leg first. I'm just going to step out to the side. I'm going to bend my right leg, lean over, come back. From here team, we come back together. Go to the other side. So we're just going to go back and side to side like that. All right team, ready? On my count, we're going to do 10 on each side. Ready? And one. Back two, and back, and three, back four, back five, back six, back, keep your eyes in focus, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, three, four, five, Seven, eight, nine, and ten. All right, team, back to our natural stance. And attention, relax. All right, Miss Danielle, they're all yours. Four jab, cross, push around. Help me. Yeah. All right, team, so what we're going to do back here in our guarding stance, we're going to do a combination of uh, jab, cross, push around. Three. So jab with the front hand. Across the back hand, like we did last time. Both hands are going to come up. You're going to give them a push as it slides back. Make sure guys are still in the base and the guard on this side. Then from here, front leg's going to pivot, back leg kick, asa, and then all of that. So we're going to do a minute on this side. We'll switch it to do a minute on the other side. So ready? And go. So now, jab, cross, push, asa, and reset. Jab, cross, push, asa. Jab, cross, push, asa. Jab, cross, push. Awesome. 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 And switch. All right. So same thing. Jab with the front hand, cross the back hand. Give them that push, slide back, belly button still facing over this way. Front leg pivots, back leg kicks, and reset. Ready? And go. So jab, cross, push, awesome, and reset. Jab, cross, push, awesome. Jab, cross, push, awesome. Jab, cross, push, awesome. Jab, cross, push, awesome. Jab, cross, push. 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 Awesome. And time, man. All right, team. Next round is going to be rear lunges. So with the rear lunges, what we're doing is instead of the first one, we step forward, then we step to the side. So this time, we're just going to step back. As we step back, the leg going back is the one's going to go to the ground, and we're going to come back up. Again, we're trying to keep our hands up, eyes focused to the front the entire time. Hand on each side. All right, team. Natural stance. Hands up on the guard. Starting with the right side first. Team, ready? And one. Step back. One. And come forward. All remaining legs. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And 
between his natural stance. Tension, and the last stance. If you want to take a breath, Nathaniel, all yours, rear kick, jab, cross, push, round up kick now. All right, so now for our last combination, we're going to do the same thing we did in the last round. The only thing we're adding to our arms is rear kick uh, for the very first and close third jab, cross. So what we're going to do is take our back leg right here, lift our knee up in that chamber. We're going to look over our back shoulder. We're going to kick behind us, going back to our guarding stance. Next, we're going to do that jab, cross, push, round up. So jab, cross, push, front foot pivots. That leg kick, toss up, and recess. So same combination, just adding that rear kick at the very beginning. So ready? And go. So we're going to kick with the rear kick, then jab, cross, push, asa, third back down, back leg comes up, kick behind, jab, cross, push, asa, and reset. Again, we're going to go rear kick, jab, cross, push, asa, and go back. So we're gonna kick, jab, cross, push, asa, Rear kick, jab, cross, push, asa, reset. Kick, jab, cross, push, asa, and back. Kick, jab, cross, push, asa, and back. And time, man. Put you on the other side. All right. The same thing. I take our new back leg, bring up in that chamber, look behind the shoulder, kick out, bring it back. Again, front hand jab, back hand cross, push, front leg pivot. Back leg roundhouse tossa and recess. Just adding that rear kick to the knee. So back leg's gonna come up. We're gonna kick behind, jab, cross, push, asa, and back. So we're gonna go kick, jab, cross, push, asa, and back. So we're gonna kick, jab, cross, push, asa, reset. So kick, jab, cross, push, asa. Also down. Jab, cross, push, asa. Kick. Jab, cross, push, asa. One more, ma'am. Kick. Jab, cross, push, asa. And time. Off you go, ma'am. Thank you. All right, team. We are almost done for today. We have one more round we're going to do. This time we're going to be doing lunges. We're going to do forward lunge, side lunge, and rear lunge. So team, for this one, um, we'll start out with uh, our, again with our right leg. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take our right leg, we'll step forward with our right leg, and we're gonna lunge forward. <laughs> we're gonna come back, then we're gonna step out to the right, right, and we're gonna lunge to the side. Then we're gonna come back, that right leg goes back, <laughs> and we're going backwards lunge, or reverse lunge, and then we're going back to the front. Then we're gonna try the other side. So again, we're doing 10 on one side and 10 on the other. Our goal here, team, is to make sure our head stays up, our back is straight, arms in front in a guard position, eyes focused straight ahead of us. Let's try it. Ready? With me. And launch. So step forward, launch. To the side, launch. Rear, launch. And back. All right, team, and two. Front. Side. And back. All right, and three. Front. Side. And back. Right, and four, front, and side, and back, right, and five, front, side, and back. Keep the eyes focused on the front team, and six. Seven, going to the front, into the side, all the way back. Front, side, and back. Nine, back to the front, to the side, back to the back. And ten, to the front, to the side, oops, and to the back. Our team, back to the other side, ready? One, right side. Two, we're on the left side now. Three, back to the right side. Four, back to the left. One, two, three, five, back on the right. Six to 
the front, to the side, to the back. Seven, to the front, to the side, to the back. Eight, to the front, to the side, to the back. Nine, to the front, to the side, to the back. And our last one, team 10, to the front, to the side, to the back. Natural stance, team, tension, and relax. Everyone with me, take a deep breath into your nose. Hold it, and exhale. Again, team, deep breath into your nose. Hold it, exhale. All right, team. Team, thank you very much for joining us in class tonight. So, everyone, your homework assignment for this week is double blade part B. All right, so that is the hook punch with a club. So we're gonna step forward, double grab, double chop, grab, chop to the neck. Cross step, disarm, strike with the weapon, Stop, stay back, and atomic disarm, which is our disarm for the gun. Create the V, drop the weight, push up, step forward with your right as you roll the gun forward into a circle. Step back, half rack, aim, have to get on the ground, call 911. So your uh, homework today is to do a video of both those self-defense techniques and turn them into your online coach. Team. Also, guys, I hope everyone enjoyed the snow we had over the last couple of days and no one got trapped. Uh, if you, uh, we have a lot of things going on for the next couple of weeks. We have a couple of holidays going on. So please make sure you uh, have a great and safe holiday. Uh, whether you stay at home or spend time with your family and friends, please do everything you can to stay safe and healthy. And we look forward to seeing you very soon. Everyone, back to your natural dance. Team, attention. Face front and bow. All right, team, have a great night. Maybe. See ya.